All right. Well, another adventure of let's go maybe buy another car. Uh, welcome back to the Jita Motors channel. Cindy, where, where, what's going on? Where are we going? Um, I got roped into driving Toronto on a Monday. Are you happy about this? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I, uh, I'm not going to give a whole lot of details yet, but I'll probably put a cool thumbnail picture in case we get this. Or I end up not buying it and it's a dud video. We'll see. You know, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to go, I don't want to assume too much, but I'm going to go look at a pretty sick truck and uh, let's hope it works out. You know, I swear this happens every time. You know, they, what do they tell you to do when you go look at a car that you actually want? Uh, you know, don't buy it in the dark and don't buy it in the rain and don't make an offer without seeing it. And I've done all of those things. So I really, I really not, we'll see. How this ends up but uh, real quick again no one wants to see a lead up to a thing they just want to see the thing but the reason why and the reason why i still have this v50 volvo wagon besides the fact that it gets uh yeah, a lot of miles per gallon and is relatively inexpensive to run um it's front wheel drive which is a good and a bad thing it is you know it is a plus when you think about things like this if i can go buy something that I can tow with. I can drive this car to the truck or SUV or whatever it is I'm purchasing, you know, spend a hundred bucks for a, uh, a one-way U-Haul tow dolly, slap this on the back and tow it home with me. Um, and if I didn't have a, uh, a co-driver, uh, that's probably what I'd be doing tonight. It wouldn't be an ideal uh, just because those things are used a lot and it's kind of tough to track one down, but you know, it does work. And if you're ever thinking about how you can do this by yourself, it is, a, it is a decent option, and those things are uh, pretty inexpensive. Oh, so you could uh, have done this by yourself. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but I've got a, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a you know, so I to help me out on that. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. you know, me for the furniture. But, uh, but I, but I digress. So I, I did it with the Cayenne Turbo I bought last year, um, and, and again, it, it, can you do it with a rear-wheel drive car? Yes, but can you do this with one person? Slap this thing on the back; it doesn't weigh a whole lot, and tow it home with you. Yes. So you know that really keeps uh, it's a point for the V50. All right, looks like we are at the right spot. There's the truck. It is still raining, unfortunately, so we're gonna pull in here and check it out, talk to the owner. But uh, there is the first look at it. Oh man, he's got a Hellcat too. Sweet. All right, well, see you in a second. All right, the owner. Uh, uh, oh, she's probably okay. okay. <laughs> she's, she's talking to a friend. <laughs> All right, the owner uh, just gave me the keys, so let me check it out. Here it is. He said there's a little bit of peeling of paint on the hood, but it looks a little cracked, but not terrible. Um, yeah, check out the rest. A little bit of uh, surface rot, not too bad. He said he did recently replace the blood brake lines and whatnot. Manifolds. Don't look cracked or anything. I know that was an issue on one of the other ones I was looking at. Tires look decent. I guess this is his other truck, the one uh, he said inherited. Doesn't need this one anymore. Cab corners aren't bad. Usually it's rusty here and it's not, which is, again, good. Take a look underneath. A little bit of scaling on that. Not, not terrible. Again, this is this is just truck stuff. This isn't. It doesn't look like it's been, uh, you know, rotted. It's not rot or anything. It's just like my Ford, uh, my 250. Uh, looks like you know a little bit of a, a kind of a paint repair there. Tiny bit of rust on the fender. I mean, this all happens. Um, it's really hard. I mean, it's almost like I'm glad it's already happened instead of getting it painted or something and then having it happen. But nothing too critical. Usually when people don't clean out the salt and whatnot from driving around, it gets stuck up there. It causes the, uh, the bubbling. Bed looks clean. A little bit of paint peel off the topper there. Front looks decent. Again, everything looks pretty honest. You know, he said he owned it for 23 years, so I didn't give you any backstory there, so let me just go real quick. 
Um, this is a, uh, a 96 uh, Ford F-250 Power Stroke V8 turbo diesel, uh, four wheel drive, four by four. Owner's had it for 23 years. He's selling it. He bought uh, a newer Dodge Ram Dually. And uh, again, he's got two of these things. So this is the one he wants to get rid of. And uh, we made a we made a deal on the phone, but again, I hadn't seen in person. So this is, again, this is the first time I'm seeing the truck. So I'm not, uh, he was pretty honest about it. He's got all the records and whatnot. So I figured I'd check it out. See if the clicker works. Oh. Oh. All right, seats aren't ripped up or anything too bad. <sighs> Four wheel drive. Could be, uh, you know, obviously a little cleaner in here, but it's it's not bad. Headliner's not sagging or anything too much. Yeah, I uh, I like it. I'm gonna cut the camera off and look a little harder at some things, but um, so far, you know, it is as advertised, which is good. I am excited. <laughs> I don't get excited often, but this thing's friggin' sweet. Oh, man. So, I uh, bought it. This is uh, a 96 F-250 turbo diesel. 4x4 long bed four-wheel drive with a big old bull bar and a 12,000-pound worn winch on it. Yeah, buddy. Um, let this thing heat up a little bit. Uh, it gave me a full tank in the rear of diesel. Uh, and we're gonna hit the road. It's hard to kind of see anything in this video uh, due to it's night and raining, which is, again, I must be an idiot, but I love this thing. I, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm sure I'm gonna get home and there's gonna be a lot more issues than I know. But again, Charles, the previous owner, he owned it for 23 years. Uh, maintained it himself. I got all the records, two keys, clickers, pretty much everything that'd be involved in, in a purchase like this. I, I felt good about it. Nice, honest guy. Uh, it, I, excuse me, that was a, a 392 Charger in the front. His Hellcat was in the garage. Had a 68 Super B in a trailer as well. Uh, but he just bought a brand new 2020 Dodge Dually Cummins for towing. And uh, is ready to give up, get, you know, let this one go. So that's how it goes sometime. Uh, it's, it's now mine. I'm going to throw a little more fuel in there and we're going to hit the road. I got a full tank, I guess. Oh boy, joys of now owning a diesel. Here's just in the light, not too, too bad. Again, those little rust spots, but I think we knew about that. Um, I'll do a walk around here once I'm done pumping. Whew. First look in the light. Oh man, this is a good looking truck. Yeah, little blemishes, I knew about that, I don't care.
And this is what it's all about. Not so cold, cold start. Woo, buddy. Reset the trip. Got some diesel in her. Gotta get some heat going on here. So yeah, I'm in, I'm in Roanoke. Uh, so we drove two and a half hours to get here and there's nothing better than buying a car and then having to take a long road trip there and back. My, my girlfriend would disagree, but I'm, I'm excited. This is sweet. So we're gonna go give this thing its, uh, its first test drive. We're gonna go up 81 and then down 64 at highway speeds. And I'm gonna yeah, see what this thing does. Oh, it sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll check back in here once we get moving. Cue diesel noises. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> There's nothing better than a big old diesel truck. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you drive. It's, uh, there's something satisfying. I'm looking over that hood and hearing that turbo spool up. This is great. All right, she's humming now, running around 65, 2000 RPM. That's probably the sweet spot. Uh, we are kind of in the mountain part of 81, just getting out of Roanoke. Um, it's about 31, 32 degrees out, so probably a little bit icy. Uh, so again, want to take it easy, new truck. Decent tires though, big heavy rigs, so not too worried too about it, but just want to monitor everything. The, uh, the temp gauge isn't working, so I'll have to look into that. Not that these things ever really run hot. Uh, that'll be on the short list of stuff to, to sort out, but other than that, she's, she's cruising great. I'm just going to start watching the fuel gauge drop here, but we'll uh, jump back in here after a few more miles. Couldn't have been a worse day for this. It's still raining and cold. Just trying to warm up a little bit. All right, road trip update. As you can notice, if you got a keen eye, I've used half a tank of diesel. Watch out, vehicle stopped um, on shoulder ahead. Pretty sure that's just the back tank. I can't remember if that's 18 or 16 gallons. It filled up before I left on 79 miles so yeah that's not too great I, I haven't looked up i don't know if i can hit the tanks on the fly or i have to stop for the changeover i should just be able to hit the button i've only got about 100 miles left so i'm hoping i can make it um on the single tank i think i put six or seven gallons in the front tank so that'll be something i'll figure out here and in a little bit i'm actually texting some friends right now to figure that out um, if you got any good diesel tips, drop something in the comments, let me know. Uh, again, this is the first diesel truck, not the one I, I've driven and owned, not owned, but you know, through my old company and whatnot, I used to drive them, probably put 100,000 miles on a bunch of old Dodges and whatnot, but uh, this is the first one that I've owned, and uh, yeah, I'm still, still getting used to things, still trying to get it figured out, so this will be an interesting ownership experience that I'm pretty excited about. Um, you have to dial in the mileage and whatnot, and figure out how everything works. So, uh, so yeah, again, I got about 120 or so miles back to Richmond, hoping to make it on one tank. Once it gets to one fourth of a tank, I'm gonna hit the changeover. You don't want to run diesels too low, uh, threaten sucking something up, losing your prime. So that's the plan. Well, it's getting interesting now. Temperatures drop below 30 degrees, going up uh, after mountain on 64. Visibility is shit. Uh, man, I can't see nothing. Looks like there's already some accidents over there, so hopefully make it through here safe. Keep the speed down, hopefully it's not too icy. Luckily they got these little lit markers up here. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of no joke. Oh, this guy's pulling over. Not sure what the deal is, but we're just gonna go slow, take it easy, and uh, hopefully make it down safe on the other side. Boy, this is no visibility. Pretty interesting. Ooh, visibility is almost zero now. 
Uh, you know, high beams aren't the greatest in foggy conditions, but it seems to work now. I'm going like 25. I've never had to slow down. This is a major road. I've never had to go this slow, honestly. I'm gonna have to put the flashers on. I'll be one of those guys, but uh, yeah, this is serious. Pretty interesting out here. You never know what kind of conditions you're gonna run into. Unfortunately, this truck doesn't have a temp gauge. Uh, for exterior, but I'm sure we're probably below 32, probably around 25. So this is, uh, you know, keeping it interesting. All right, trip update, uh, about 70 miles from home. It's kind of bouncing around here. It's hard to get, grab a pitch and speedometer there though. I've done 116 miles. Uh, I'm just getting to the point of needing to do the tank switch over. I don't want to run it much below uh, uh, a quarter tank. Um, so I'm going to give it another 10, 15 miles or so. And we're going to cut it over and uh, run the rest of the way on the, on the front tank. We've been using the back tank for now. And uh, hopefully see what it looks like. You know, I'm really interested to see what I'm doing uh, miles per gallon wise. Um, I'm sure it's not great. The speedometer reads fast, so I'm really going 62, 60 miles an hour. Um, and, and, and again, it feels like I'm going 70, but I'm, you know, I'm not really going that fast. The speedometer's a little bit off, which is good because uh, this thing's not really built for speed. Uh, but again, track straight. I mean, the front feels solid. I got no death wobble. I mean, this thing drives dead smooth. Tires, alignment's good. You know, I don't have any. Uh, you know, tires or wheels out of balance. So man, this has been a really enjoyable ride home. Probably one of the best ever. All right, 135 miles, just a, a touch below quarter tank. I'm gonna go for the old tank switcheroo, going from the uh, back tank to the front. Hopefully that works. And yeah, there it goes. Pumping right up, hell yeah. I don't think I had that tank all the way full in the front, but looks like she's happy with that so that should give us the rest of the way back um, probably about 50 miles out so shouldn't have an issue should 100% uh, make it back on that tank but everything else been going great um, uh, no issues it's a blast I don't know if you can hear it in the background but this thing still sounds great oh, I got another uh, why don't they just grab that? Are they delivering garbage or they're picking garbage up? It's an old uh, 94, 95 Chevy 1500. Clean looking truck. All right, almost there. Hitting that home stretch. Uh, put another 47 miles on this tank. Didn't really move the gauge all that much. I know that tank's smaller. I'm gonna figure it out, everything else out when I'm done. But I mean, this thing is rock solid. I'm, I'm so excited. Let's get some uh, let's get some slowdown uh, diesel noises here. I don't know if you can hear it. Man, this thing's good. Yeah, that's a wrap for uh, the highway portion tonight. Ho, ho, ho. All right, well, there she is. Again, I can't really, uh, oh, there it goes. Hard to do it on the zoomed out lens, but uh, yeah, we made it back. Uh, no major issues. I'd love to check this thing out in the daylight, um, but it's, it's, it's all there. I, uh, man, I, don't, I haven't been excited for this long for uh, a new purchase or a new vehicle, but this thing's uh, pretty damn sweet. I'm um, gonna do a, probably a, a long-term bunch of updates on the uh, on the 250. This is gonna probably be on the channel for a while now. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge diesel guy, but I think it's going to uh, I think it's gonna be a great experience. Um, so again, follow along. Hey, please please subscribe. I've been doing a doing pretty well as far as uh, subscribers is for all the different type of content I don't really focus on one particular type of content car or anything specific I mean if you look around Land Cruiser diesel Mercedes Volvo Jag I mean it's all it's all interesting to me so I got a little bit of something for everybody if you got any questions or comments uh, you know drop it drop it down below 
and uh, appreciate everyone watching. Uh, so we'll uh, do an update later on. Thanks.